Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator. This time we're going to be repeating a job which we've done before and that is to make a snake out of trailers. Uh, now before I don't know exactly how many trailers we did have but today we're going to try and beat whatever it was. We had a general idea anyway because of the amount of trailers that we could see. It was a pretty long line. Um, but yeah, because we're on the Giants Island map today there's loads of space so we can just very simply keep going. There is no limit except for, of course, the power of the tractors which are going to pull it. We're going to use the JCBs, the very big JCBs, um, and uh, we're going to use a tow bar to join them all together. So loads of tractors pulling loads of trailers. It's going to be quite insane. So what I'm doing here is just giving every player $50,000. Uh, this is so they can... Oh, he just got 100000 Okay. Uh, yeah, it's so they can uh, actually buy the trailers and it means that I don't have to keep buying them as well because uh, otherwise I'm going to be just basically pressing buy continually if we spread it all out, oh, he got he got quite a few farming 100 I can't select there we go Whew, that was close so here they are, it's going to be a multicoloured setup uh, the way that we do this is we basically keep reversing up to one um, I will create the first one we'll get a yellow beep beep Right, so we're going to put it, hopefully, quite a long way back, otherwise we're going to be um, travelling quite a long way uh, in the opposite direction. So we have to start over here and work the other way. Uh, to be honest, actually, although it might seem like a long way, it really does have to be way back here. In fact, it might be better off to start attaching quite a few together first. But uh, yes, that is the general idea of it. I suppose actually we should go right back here. We'll go way back. How on earth are we going to tow all this? I have no idea. Except for the method which I told you, but surprisingly with all the big JCB fast tracks joined together it still might be a real struggle. There we go. Um, yep. Yeah. You can have a, a small tractor. Chains of 100 is the right idea there. Yeah, we'll do two. And Storm. Two together. The only problem is you have to, of course, reverse them. Yeah, you can buy yourselves... yourselves... <laughs> a small tractor. If they can afford it, I suppose. That is the issue. Actually, I'll give everyone 100,000, because otherwise it is going to be a serious problem with the money. It really does not go very far. And I'm a happy farmer. I either never got any money in the first place or I spent an awful lot. Okay, some people are now getting extreme amount of oh. Okay, Farmer Man one Farmer Man 08 now has two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. That was a total accident, but yes, here we go. We have loads of trailers. This is gonna be unpredictable what's going to happen here. I have no idea really because when we did this before it was on Goldcrest Valley and because it was such a tight map, surprisingly it is a tight map, uh, we couldn't really drive the trailers anywhere so I think I lost that one. Yeah, it, it we just got stuck continually on all of the uh, the posts and the street lights and signs and everything. It was a bit of a nightmare really and we couldn't really show it off to its full potential. So this really is the opportunity to take a snake, a snake of trailers, all the way around the map. It is going to be quite ridiculous. I keep losing my trailers. This is getting annoying. I'm sure it's intentional. <laughs> I'm sure it isn't. Okay, I'm going to take, go for this one. We've got two the same colour. It's supposed to be multicoloured, but oh well. Somebody really is going to have a full-time job of just buying trailers continually. I don't know what to think of this. This is why I'm doing it, because I just thought, wait, last July I did this weird thing with trailers. Why have I not done it since? Why have we not tried to beat the record? And we can actually see the amount of trailers we have without counting. Um, it was so obvious, in fact, last time I overlooked it completely, but if you go to the Brantner the page here, you can see we have 29. Only 29, and somebody's leased some by the look of it, I think. Reversing two will be tough. Um, yeah. Yeah, short term. I'll just keep adding money. I think it's better to uh, not lease, actually, because of... 
I, I don't really know what it does to the game. It might somehow make it harder to run. It might make it absolutely no different. I'm not sure. Where's my cheat thing? I want to cheat the money. There we go. We'll add another 5 million. There we go. Is that 500,000? Possibly. Okay, so I'll just keep bringing some trailers over and we'll keep giving everybody more money. Um, I can see this becoming a bit congested actually. And it looks like most people have got plenty of money here. It's all very good. Just checking to see if anybody has successfully reversed two. Chain to 100, yes. Addy, yes. And now it's Dagwin's turn. Oh, good. No, 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 it hit me. Oh, yeah, good. Phew. Yes, I did it. Okay, let's just straighten it off a bit. Oh, of course, it does take a long time to actually let them go. You have to cycle through all the trailers. I suppose Manual Attached would have been a really good mod to have. But that's all right. Heaps Ryan says, I'll take your front one off and keep attaching them to the front much easier. Yes. This is actually something which would look really good as a time lapse, and I actually do have a gaming laptop now, so if I was to buy another copy of Farming Simulator, what I could do is set the laptop up as well and just keep it going, keep it recording, and then I can time lapse as well as doing this. Unfortunately, I'm not in the position to do that for this video, uh, but in a future video, I can do it. Heaps tries it says there's lag, but mine is actually really smooth. That's weird. Somebody seems to have turned up in a potato harvester. Whoa, look at Weasel. Quite a long line. It's so far obviously down there. If we can get it to going up the hill, uh, well that would be an achievement in itself. Uh, that shouldn't be too hard, because obviously there's 16 people doing this. Well, 15, because I'm not doing a great deal. But for crying out loud, there is a potato harvester here. Taking up space, also creating lag, and yes, it shouldn't be here, using our money. Okay, so what I'm going to do is start to buy some more. Um, obviously mine are going to be a fairly similar colour, that's alright. Oh, it's actually blocked. Ah, it's because somebody else has bought some too. It looks like we all went for a different shade of orange. Um, so if I go for, well these two, I'll take them over there. And you know what? I think a time lapse would be good. I'm going to do it anyway. I won't be able to do it for too long, because otherwise we're going to miss too much progress. Um, but yes, it, it should be uh, still quite a good addition to this unusual and, uh, yes, odd video. <laughs> but great fun. <laughs> It's looking absolutely incredible. I think a few people are suffering a bit from the lag. I think it's most likely down to their own system, because uh, at the moment it's all right here. You can see there's a bit of lag. The uh, trailers are stuttering a bit, um, but overall it is going all right. And I think already we've beaten the record. Uh, I don't think we had one this long before. And it did strike me as well when I sat there doing the time lapse, because that's what I tend to do, except for check my phone and stuff. Um, we we have to. Uh, also take into account any leased trailers because it's most likely going to come under a different registration. So uh, yeah, 72 and yes, only three. So we are indeed sitting at, let's just confirm because somebody might have bought some more. Uh, 72 plus three, we've got 75 trailers. It now goes all the way around the corner over there and is basically level with the store but then we have all of these as well we've got miniature snakes which keep driving around in circles it's fun <laughs> weasel is driving around in circles and farming 100 has been hit by the snake and it's now being consumed weird anyway yes the uh, the longer 
snakes, which you see here. I don't even know why I'm calling them snakes, because everyone else is calling them trailer trains and stuff. Uh, but yeah, they need to be obviously put on. That is a difficult part. Um, if only they were easy to reverse, <laughs> which is pretty tough. Um, but yeah, we've got this one going on here. Massy F. I think actually pretty much everybody here was in the server last week in the video. I always find it amazing how the same people manage to get in without losing their slot. Although, Olus9 I don't think is in, which is such a shame. Because he always does a video. But no doubt the trailer train will still be here when he does join, eventually. Um, and if, any, if everybody does a video here, like Addy and Chainsaw 100 and Olus9, possibly somebody else, um, and, and of course myself, then we're going to really do this to death, aren't we? The amount of snake trailer videos there's going to be is just going to be ridiculous. It's going to completely flood the market. Just look at that. It's just a sea of different colours. Looks like most of the blue trailers were actually put on near this end. Nobody chose blue colours over there, except for right at the end, at the tail of the snake. Um, wow, that's pretty. Yeah, I do love this map. This is the uh, Farming Simulator 2009 map, which I have done before. So, yeah, when this is done, we have 100 trailers. Uh, we're going to start to buy the big JCB tractors and we'll get the tow bars and join a number of them together so that we can all pull it around the map. The only problem is, if somebody steers the wrong way, uh, it's going to cause absolute mayhem. So, yeah, <laughs> prepare yourself for some ridiculous driving very soon. We do have to put these on first, though. Uh, yeah, as we've got further down here, um, it's become more and more clear that we do need to have manual attach. So I think that if we do this again, we'll definitely put manual attach in the server. And then all we have to do is just, well, basically have one person unhooking them all um, as we go. Because at the moment, for example, who is it doing it? Uh, Captain Sim has to now cycle through every trailer before the one that he's putting on can be removed. Which is quite painful. Got a lot of queue in here one person at a time. Uh, it seems to be taking a detour. It's going off the road and over the hill. Along with that mini one over there. Let's go and grab these two. They seem to have been dumped, so we'll get these moved. Uh, well, yeah, clearly we're not having any problem with lag here. Some people are, like I say. But we can keep going if we had manual attach. I think we're going to repeat this. It won't be next week. That'll be too soon after this. But at some point in the future... Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. We'll probably try and go for something like out of this world, uh, maybe a thousand, a thousand trailers, so ten times what we have here. Oh, maybe Chainsaw 100 is taking that one, and Captain Sims having that one. Okay, I'm just the uh, trailer tidying up person. Look, another one left unattended. I'm a happy farmer. It's mine. I want to take the trailer. I think the Hurleymans can probably tow about 20, but that is their limit. Even the JCBs can't tow what we have here. They'll just sit there wheel spinning. Last time we actually used a different type of trailer. We used this one here, the farm tag, uh, but of course we're using the Brantler this time, which is potentially a bit smaller in length. Um, I don't know if the capacity is just the height. Clearly it's much larger capacity, but yeah, I'm not sure about the length of it. So where are we? Barry. Contracts is just here, Chainsaw 100 is next, and then most likely Captain Sim, and another unattended trailer. I'm going to join the queue, not that there is really a queue, it's just, yeah, wait here. Now, a few people are saying buy a tow bar and start pulling them backwards. Um, I don't know if that will work, um, but it's definitely worth a go. So if I can get to the tow bar before anybody else does, then that would be incredibly useful. There we go. Let's just pinch my own tow bar. Uh, I want to attach it to my tractor. I'm not quite sure which is the end you attach to. Not that end. 
Okay, I have it. I don't think you can attach to the back of the trailers, but it is worth a go. Obviously, this tractor is not really going to have enough power, but I still want to see if it will work. It's definitely getting laggier, but it's still not too bad, considering we have 101, I think it is, trailers. Um, that's pretty good. But yeah, I'm fairly sure there is not a towing point on the back of them. Although I may be wrong, we'll soon find out. Oh, there is. Blimey. No. Wait. How did that work? Okay. There we go. That's it. So now I can pull them backwards. Obviously, not really with this tractor. Barry can do it. Let's just watch Barry do it. Um, yeah, because they wanted to pull the trailers back, so that is the best way of doing it. Uh, for some reason, Barry did buy a big tractor, <laughs> even though the rule was to get just a Hurleyman, but oh well. It's actually going to come in handy. So hopefully things are going alright over there. I'll have to go back over there in a second. Uh, but yeah, it's it's uh, it's all coming together. What is going on here? They're just having a bit of a fight over it. Okay, there we go. The fence got it. I don't think the fence will have the power, to be honest. No. Um, but yes, later we'll have a number of tractors joined together, so that'll be fine. It'll be the uh, JCB, is it an 8340 off the top of my head? Let's see if I'm right. Unlikely, but it's worth a go. Uh, JCB 8280, 8310, okay, I got it wrong. That was predictable. 310 horsepower um, times possibly 16. Depends how we go. But that should be enough power. Really should be. Are they doing it? Yeah, we'd have to get another tow bar. But yeah, I think the track the massive tractor could do that. Definitely. Okay, so heaps drives have just turned up with the very final line of trailers, and the plan is to actually push the back trailer towards the front of the others and then reverse back. And hopefully, with a bit of control, this can be done. Um Obviously, yeah, it also comes down to how much power the Hurleyman has got, if it can actually reverse all of that weight uphill. Um, I don't know if it's actually reversing. Nope, I don't think so. So, yeah, fingers crossed. Hopefully this is going to work. And if it does, the Hurleyman's going and the big tractors are coming in. Please work, because I'm, I'm already tired of <laughs> seeing all these trailers. 101 there is, uh, but we'll say 100, just for a round figure because you never know, one might have run away anyway. There is the odd one which isn't attached, like farm... Uh, cap, sorry, Captain Sims, not Farming Sim. That's the game. Okay, here goes. So we're aligning... Well, they're aligning this trailer. I'm not taking credit for this. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing it, obviously. I'm just the annoying spectator. So now the Hurleyman should back up if it's got the power. It looks like it does do brilliant. And then uh, these players here are going to nudge it across. Surprisingly effective. And if this does work, that's a lot of trailers attached in one go. Don't know how many trailers there are there. Two, four, six, eight, ten, I think. It's a quick guess. Uh, but yeah, this is the deciding factor as to whether or not we're going to finish now. Hopefully, we are because we want to take these things for a drive. No pressure. Oh, too far. Nudge it back. Oh, too far. Nudge it back. Did it. Almost there. That's it. Right back. And it's done. Yes. Hooray. Finally. So there it is. 100 trailers. Stretching from over there, where there is actually a Hurleyman attached to it in the opposite direction, to all the way over here. Okay. We need to get the JCBs. Bear in mind, three people, I think, still have a tractor. That would leave 13. I'm not actually counting. Um, and I don't think we need 16 tow bars. I think we need 15. Or, or 14, potentially. Uh, so, yes, I'm not sure how many we've got. We can check. And, yeah, now for the, the tow bars. I think some people have actually gone without them. <laughs> Hilarious. So desperate to move the, uh, the snake. 
I don't think it does tell you on this page exactly how many we have. We'd have to go back. Oh, that's 10. So, yeah, that's not enough. That's definitely not enough. But we'll just let them clear. We've got 14 JCBs, so yeah, that is enough. Which means if I tab... Oh, oh, they've, they've taken the JCBs instead of the fence. In that case, we'll get rid of them. Because clearly, nobody wants them. And I did see that somebody had leased a Massey Ferguson. There we go. Um, so yes, we're going to actually have to have 16. So, there we go. I think that's it. Yep, perfect. Okay, so we'll uh, just top this up. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure how many we do need, but I'll just buy enough. How many is that? 50, that's definitely enough. Okay, so I'm going to take this tractor. We'll uh, grab a, a tow bar as well. And the rule is not to move the trailers. Okay, I've got my tow bar. Whether or not we're going to be at the front, I'm not too sure. Um... Somebody said they can't attach. I'm pretty sure these tractors do attach though, because last time I did this, we actually used the same tractors, so they should definitely um, join onto each other. If not, there's going to be quite a pile of unused JCB tractors. It does work. I think a few people were a bit confused about how you actually do it. You have to press X instead of Q. Um, yeah, so it, it definitely does work. I just attached to one of the players back there. Uh, so many JCB tractors. In fact, the length of these tractors alone is going to make this even longer. We're never going to see the back of the trailers. This is going to be ridiculous. And <laughs> look at the uh, the mini-map. You can barely see actually on there. If I just go back to this page here, zoom in. It is just a patch of writing. What a mess. Like I say, if somebody turns the wrong way, we're going to end up in a pile. I can't believe that we're all the way down here and the end of those trailers is at the store. Uh, in fact, did I have, I've got trailers switched off. There you go. That's a pretty good idea of what it looks like. Incredible. There is a concern, and that is if somebody has accidentally disconnected one along the line, uh, we're going to be only taking a section of this. It will have been cut into segments. So, <laughs> yeah, it, it could be an absolute disaster. This is why I keep saving. Okay, so uh, I'm going to need to move out of the way. Planning on being at the front, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Yeah, so we've got 16 JCB tractors, 310 horsepower each. I'm not sure if all 16 are here because heaps drives are stood over there, but yes, it, it's certainly 15. So I'm going to attach to Sparky 20, just there, there we go. Uh, we're done. Now we're just waiting for the final player who forgot their tow bar. <laughs> here they are, uh, naming and shaming, farming 100. Here we go. I don't know if they actually forgot it, it's just. Oh, I'm not at the front. Forget that. No, oh, I've dropped it. I want to be at the front. I want to be at the front. There we go. Yeah, I think if I'm not at the front, we could end up anywhere, but we probably will end up anywhere anyway. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm attached to farming 100. There we go. Being pushed. That's the problem. When you attach to everybody else, you get pushed. So. I'm going to save, because we're about to depart. Yes, we're going to uh, leave this place. Are we ready? This is going to be good. Wait for everybody to confirm they're ready. I think they are. Are we attached? We are. Okay. Let's go. Okay, I'm making absolutely no progress there at all. Everybody has to accelerate together. Uh, we do just about have enough power to actually move the trailers and of course I need to look where I'm going because if I mess up the whole lot is over um, is that top speed? 8 miles per hour is the maximum speed we can do at the moment with this amount of uh, horsepower which is quite incredible because 310 times I think there's 15 of us I think there is I can't do it off the top of my head but I'll definitely put it in the title I'm being pushed Look at that. Just look at that line of tractors. Still just coming over the hill. Um, and now we've got to sink. Oh no, we've got to sink 101 trailers and 16 tractors and 15 tow bars. Or 16. Oh, list 9! Your timing was awful, but at least you've 
seen something. No! Follow me, folks. Follow me. I'm trying to steer. We're off over here. We, we, we seem to have... Oh, blimey, there's a tree over there. Just looking back, if we turn, some of those trailers are going to hit it. I'm going to start to snake. The plan is to stick on the roads, I think. That would be the safest option. Hello, Erlis9. Okay, at least actually doing this gives us a better view of the trailers. Still coming over the brow of the hill, going uphill, losing power. Uh, four miles per hour. I think everybody is flat out. The back tractors are tipping over. Uh, in fact, half the trailers have tipped over because we've hit the tree. Tree! That was my fault. I totally take responsibility. I hope we can cut it down. I really do. I'm going to buy a chainsaw. I have a chainsaw. Uh... Olus 9, maybe Olus 9 can do it. Oh, it looks like Barry Contracts is doing it, but I think we should probably do the tree after that as well. It might hit one of these, although mm, there's quite a bit of space. I'm going to take it down anyway, just in case. It'd be painful to get stuck again. Hopefully we can. Oh no! Oh, we can, good. I, I really do hope that the, uh, the line of trailers doesn't leave without me. It does seem to be moving. It's moving. The tree is down. And we're going to stick on the main road. I wasn't thinking. We have a lifeline though. A chainsaw. Very useful. So let's reattach. And we'll go. I have to notify everybody though, because otherwise we will pile up. Okay, floor it. Oh, I'm being pushed. I'm being pushed by the sheer amount of power behind us. Oh, little Christmas trees. I suppose, yeah, the tree I did take down over there possibly is in the way. Oh, we're starting to snake. I'm being pushed. I don't know how I'm going so slow. I'm on cruise control at 45. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on. But I think our last trailers are just coming over the hill. Yes, they are. It is the giant caterpillar, which stretches almost half the length of the map. Wow. Oh, it could actually be the force of the trailers coming down the hill, right at the back, which is pushing us. Because it will do. I'm going to turn the uh, names off again, because it does become a bit of a distraction. There is a bit of uh, wobbling about in here. But overall, pretty good. I hope there's no bridges. It's only the tractors which are swerving. The trailers are very happy. I'm amazed how the uh, power of these machines is actually struggling. We're just about doing 15. But if we go too fast, we're just going to end up in a, um, in a mess. Like, that almost happened then. Yeah, I, I think this is taking a road train to a new level completely. This would have been good as a live stream, but unfortunately I can't live stream multiplayer. Oh, we're coming to a grinding halt. Why? We were about to go off the cliff. That's the thing, we have no idea what's going on at the back. The trailers could be anywhere. Well, we are still moving, but we have lost quite a bit of power. It is amazing how all this power is only producing 6 miles per hour. Oh, for crying out loud, somebody's disconnected. Oh no, wait, they're letting Olis in. Brilliant. But somebody's still moving because I'm being pushed. We're off again. So, Olis9 has joined the congregation, the procession of JCB tractors and a bazillion brand new trailers. Uh, so as soon as we go around somewhere which is a tight curve, um, not only are the trailers going to cut in quite a bit, but also we're going to have the perfect opportunity for a screenshot. And yes, we do have to go over a bridge. Uh, so I have absolutely no idea how far we're going to get with this. It will probably be fairly short-lived. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up in the sea. But at least we've got this far. And to be honest, we've got further than I thought. It's pretty good.
that's spot on. Straight over it. We are swerving a bit. But overall, it's pretty good. Oh no! Massey F jumped out of the tractor. Whew, that is that is impressive stuff. In fact, that is a better screenshot. I'm obsessed with screenshots. I always like to get the best one. Okay, well that's been some serious fun, but we seem to have come to a bit of a grinding halt because we've lost two tractors, they're on their side, and pretty much every trailer is on its side at this end as well, so, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be going anywhere very fast. They've caught the tree, that's what's happened. Um, the tree can be felled, and actually, when that's felled, these might spring back up, but the stump will still be there, so let's just see this forestry man do this and we'll see what happens. Look at that. Incredible. Well, it's worth another go. Not giving up that easily. We've lost it. A few people decided to disconnect the tractors. Well, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this absolutely ridiculous video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.